deep rides. Mine just reels at possible trouble there. <laughs> okay, and Gabrielle's dress is completely finished. Oh, she and Miranda are gonna look absolutely beautiful. I love the whole notion. Erica, if you don't mind, um, I'm trying to examine her. I really need some quiet. Of course you do, sorry. Look, I have a hundred other things to do, so I'm just gonna be on my way and I will see you later. Your heart rate jumped quite a bit there. Although I'd be surprised if it hadn't. You're actually doing incredibly well. I need a favor. Name it. It would help if I was medically unable to attend this wedding. <clears throat> hey! Oh, perfect. I've been wondering, you have a tux, don't you? I'll find a little something, sure. Okay, and I bet you have a brilliant toast, too. I'm... What? All right. How's that patient? She's good. Although I do think it's a little too early for her to be traveling. I'd advise against it, going to the wedding. Really? Better safe than sorry, right? Sure, yeah, no thanks. I'd like to see you again the day after tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. That's good. You got him to say that, didn't you? You don't want to go to the wedding? No, I really don't. What's the problem? I don't feel like it. That's it? Well, I'm not into this whole wedding charade. Pretending to care. Pretending to be this wonderful, forgiving person when everyone knows that I'm not. You go. Go have fun. Enjoy yourself. Besides, you're the one who, who's close with them. You're the father of the newborn child. I'm the father of the child. I'm sorry, the... sorry. You're the donor. The donor. I have to get my euphemisms right, don't I? So as the donor and the uncle and the godfather, you have to be there. Besides, no one will really notice that I'm missing. I've been missing for months already. You're acting like a child right now. You're right, I am. Children speak their feelings. Children don't hide behind masks, and neither am I. So this is how I feel. Accept it. Besides, without me there, things will go smoother, everyone will be happier. You don't go, I don't go. You're being ridiculous. You have to go to this wedding. Bianca was there for you all the months that I was gone. She stood by your side. So did Greenlee. So did Reese, for that matter. They were all there for you when you needed them, and now, right now, you have to be there for them. I won't go. I can't go. But you have to. People are going to this wedding because they want to see... they want to see people that they care about get married, not to watch you squirm over some problem you have with your niece. So if you feel it's better uh, than you know what I need to do? I need to take my medication and go to bed. I'm very tired, okay? And I'm really tired of talking about this. That is my final word on this subject. I'm done. Someone to carry the luggage. You're just in time. Oh, hey. All right, so these two need to go in first because they're the heaviest. What's the matter? What's wrong? Well, uh, Kendall has decided not to go to the wedding. Said she would feel uncomfortable, so she insists that I go alone. But how can we do this without her? Oh, my God, this is What happens? Can, can I ask something? Did, did you guys not think it was going to be a problem when she wakes up and finds out about Gabrielle? You thought there was going to be no problem uh, at all? Okay, no, but... To miss our wedding. Okay, you know what? Um, maybe we should just do what she wants. Maybe we should go ahead. No, we should have no, the ceremony. No and way! The She's my sister, and I love her as much as anybody in this room. I want her by my side for this. I'm, I can't get married without her. Bianca. Well, if anyone can change Kendall's mind, it's Bianca. So I'm going to hold that thought and go down and get a bellman to take down these bags. Uh, 
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. sorry for what? what are you apologizing for? This, right? It's nothing to do with you. This is me. I did that. Didn't tell her about being a donor. I wasn't there at the beach house. It's me. And you know what? Kendall has a right to feel the way she does. I was wrong. Yeah, and I was wrong, too. I was wrong to talk you into it. You didn't talk me into anything. I did this. I'm the bad guy here. Oh, okay. So, um, are, are you saying that you regret being Gabrielle's donor? You know, don't, please, actually, don't answer that, because if you say that you regret that, I know that you would be lying. <sighs> I can't do this. If you weren't well enough, maybe I would understand, but you are, and so you are coming to my wedding. You will be there for me, and for your nieces, and for Zach, and I, I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't, I don't even care what Zach thinks. This is between you and me, and I can't do this without you. I can't. I cannot go and watch Zach walk down the aisle holding your daughter. The little girl that I wouldn't give him. I know, I know it sounds irrational, but when have you ever known me to be rational? I'm through thinking. Right now, I'm just feeling. And what I'm feeling is not very pretty. You all lied to me. You betrayed me. You hurt me more than anyone could have possibly hurt me. And I've been through way too much, so it's enough. Enough. I won't go. I can't go. I can't do this without you by my side. Please. Is there anything that I can do to convince you to change your mind? There is one thing you can do. This one thing will make me come to your wedding. I will go to your wedding and stand by your side, smile at everyone, be charming, on one condition, that when it's all over, you and Reese and your baby go back to France and leave me in peace. No, you don't mean that. Yes, I do. I need time. Okay. We'll go. I'm... Of course, I don't mean that. I have a connection to Gabrielle. From the day she was born, I look into her eyes, and it's not the point. The point is, it's, it's time for you to get married, and you and Bianca go back to Paris and live your life. It's, that's all there is to it. It's the only way I can keep Kendall. I can't, I can't leave. I can't, I can't leave right now. I, I can't take Bianca away from her family. I can't. And you and Gabrielle have bonded. You just said that. I, this isn't fair. This isn't fair to it's anyone. It's not about being fair. There's no choice. You got to go. You got to convince Bianca. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Mom. Oh, honey. Oh, you came. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm so happy you were here. You changed your mind. Bianca must have worked her magic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that. Great. May I show you to your room? Yes, yes, thank you. So, then uh, the rehearsal at 6 and dinner at 7. Okay. Well, 
Oh, this is lovely. You still haven't told me. Told you what? Why you're here. Change your mind, now you're at the wedding. Fill me in. I didn't change my mind. And there's nothing Bianca said that could have changed it. I made her an offer and she accepted. What was it? Privileged information or... I told Bianca that I would come to the wedding. I would be a charming sister and guest. I'd stand by her when she said her vows. And in return, she would take Reese and their children and leave. Leave? Yes. Leave Pine Valley. Move back to France. You're upset. Did I say that? You're angry because I'm making them go away. Yeah, what else am I feeling right now? You feel a connection to that baby. And honestly, Zach, I'm not surprised, and I don't think you're surprised either. You knew this could never be some, some random donor situation, especially once it turned out to be a little girl. So yes, it makes sense that, that you're upset that Reese and the baby won't be around anymore. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why I did what I did. What? I told Reese exactly the same thing. I told her she should go back to France with Bianca. Probably about the same time you were telling Bianca the same thing. So no, it's not about a baby. So you admit that you're afraid of what might happen <sighs> no. in the state. I did what I did for your sake, not mine. Because anything I say these days, you don't believe me. It doesn't matter what I say. I've admitted to mistakes. I've admitted to things I haven't done. Just to make you feel better. So what? What is it going to take? If she moves a thousand miles away, maybe then you'll believe me. What about the baby? How are you going to deal with not seeing her ever again? And no, Zach, don't give me the whole d d Uncle Zach and, and, and donor nonsense. That little girl is your daughter. I wouldn't choose anyone. Not a baby, not another woman. I wouldn't choose anyone over you. How about your other children? Forced with the choice, I mean. I'm pretty sure you would choose Ian over Gabrielle. But what about Spike? What about Ryan's child? Why are you doing this? Indulge me. Indulge you? Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> I've raised Spike as my own. I love him as much as I do Ian. Always have, always will. And your daughter? She's not my daughter. She has two loving parents, Reese and Bianca, and they were supposed to raise her in Paris. That was the plan. And now? You're, you're still all right with that? I, I think I've made myself perfectly clear. Okay. Well, then we don't have to discuss this ever again. We will go to the wedding, and I, I might even shed a tear for Greenlee. And then I will toast the brides, and that will be that. The second they leave for France, you and I start rebuilding our lives. Hi. Okay, so we are all here. Come stand by me. I want everyone to listen very carefully now, okay? The wedding planner has pneumonia. However, doesn't matter because this wedding is going to be perfect. It's going to go off without one little bump in the road because we are here. We are ready. And we're hungry. <laughs> so nothing can stop us now. That's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> That's when you go down the aisle and stand next to Ryan. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, she's crying. <laughs> I don't know. I think I just might have lost the touch today or something. <laughs> Uncle Zach always does. Oh, he does? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> What you 
scared. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe it would be best if Gabrielle went out with uh, Rachel. Is she outside? Um, I can check. Yeah, I'll let me Thank check you. on that. Here, I'll take her. Come on. Come on, there we go. Uh, for some reason, they just don't want to listen to direction at that age. <laughs> OK, so then, unless there are any questions, dinner is served. Shall we go eat? Shall we go eat? Yeah. That's cool. You OK? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You and Ryan are going to make the perfect bride and groom. You know what I'm talking about. They'll be gone soon. They've decided to move back to France. Good. Because lately, you're scaring me. The way you look at the two of them, the way you were looking at Zach with that baby. Just a little longer. Then I'll have my life back. Dinner is actually a buffet. Please help yourselves. Well, you certainly stirred the hornet's nest. But you had me smiling. I'm sure Reese will be fine in the morning. She was just being overly sensitive. You were being cruel. Bianca, you can't continue to try to cover up for Reese. I mean, she told me that it was her idea that you go back to, to Europe. So please don't try to convince me again that it was yours. It was both of ours. So stop trying to blame everything on Reese. Honey, I just want you to be happy. OK. Then between now and tomorrow, do us both a favor. Both of you, actually. If you don't have anything pleasant to say, just keep your mouths shut. Thank you. All right. I think it's time that we all get some rest. Night. Night. You're loving all this, aren't you? It's not about loving anything. It's about putting things right again. I know what I'm doing. Just be careful. It could backfire on you. What are you looking at? I saw you. At the church. Has this been going on a while, or was it your first time? How can you do this? To Kendall and to Bianca? Are you so screwed up about this child? Nothing you know happened. And you will not say anything like that ever again. 